Google announced today they've achieved quantum supremacy. So what does that mean? It's a major breakthrough in computer research. Quantum computers are much more powerful than the ones we use today and can solve problems that normal computers often find impossible. Jacob Ward's in San Francisco with more on Google's big announcement. Allison, pretty much everything in our lives involves a sort of rudimentary kind of computing. And I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about your blender. I'm talking about your phone. I'm certainly talking about things like my image being carried across whatever device it's being watched on. I mean, all of this happens using bits ones and zeros in sequence, which is how all modern computing records and transmits information. And so, the amazing part of quantum computing is that it can do things that no current computer can do. Google, in its announcement about this, estimates that it took about 200 seconds for its quantum computer to do a calculation that would have taken a normal supercomputer, even the highest end thing we've got today, about 10,000 years to accomplish. So, would have taken 10,000 years, they say it took only 200 seconds. That, as you can imagine, is an incredible breakthrough. Now, why do we care about this? Well, before you just say, you know, hey, nerd, what does this have to do with my life? Here's the really amazing thing about it. Basically, not only would your, uh, you know, phone and the transmission of data and all of this stuff be transformed by this, but all sorts of national security questions are, are really dependent on this ability to only have ones and zeros right now. So basically, the passwords that you and I use and that we use for all encryption is based on the idea that it would just take far too long, like let's say 10,000 years for a regular computer to overwhelm your password, to figure it all out. Well, it's a national security issue because with quantum computing, in theory, you could very quickly guess and break down a password or any other encryption scheme. I mean, really just like that, right? In this case, this kind of collapsing of a 10,000 year project to 200 seconds, that's the kind of thing it could conceivably do with a password. All of this is very far off in the distance, but it's an amazing thing. So our whole lives could be revolutionized by this. We're not just talking about random you know, math experiments like the one they did today. We're talking about the development of new medicines, of new materials, of uh, artificial intelligence, all of which depends right now on this very limited language of computing that we use. So the idea here is that if they really begin to go forward from this, and this is just a first step, but if they begin to really be able to deploy quantum computing in the way that they imagine, suddenly we're going to be able to have all kinds of incredible breakthroughs in the materials we make and the artificial intelligence we build and everything else as we go forward. Now, one last thought here, Allison, before I go, because I think this is an important thing for those of us who are watching sort of big tech and how huge these companies have become and how powerful they are. It's notable that even though this incredible breakthrough is a, national, a matter of national security, the Trump administration has said it's going to commit uh, about a billion and a half to, to quantum and computing. Meanwhile, China is throwing billions, hundreds of billions of dollars at this kind of project. Um, it's not happening at the university or government lab level. It's happening inside a corporation, in this case, inside Google. And the other big players in the United States are Microsoft, IBM, other companies like this. It's really a mark of our age that this kind of, you know, kitty hawk sort of breakthrough is not taking place at the government level or care of academia. In this case, Google, in fact, bought the lab, absorbed a lab from UCSB, University of California, Santa Barbara, and all its researchers, and still maintains a Santa Barbara presence, which is where this computer is. You know, that's a, a funny indication of the moment that we're in. But putting all of that aside, the breakthrough here, the fundamental quantum computing potential, and the way it could transform our our lives. It makes this a very exciting day, Alice. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.